Hello my beautiful Capricorn, welcome to this reading and a warm welcome to this channel or welcome back. How are you? So, what are we doing today? What's going on in your life? What you need to know, what you need to know right now? This is timeless reading, so whenever you are here, whenever you end up here, this is this is meant to be, okay? You were meant to be here to hear this message. All right, Capricorn, are you sun? Moon, rising, Venus, doesn't matter. Please check your chart and... Find out where the Capricorn sits in your chart. There could be various, not just one or two, but many kind of positions. And pop in those other videos as well to see um, what other messages are there for you. Let's dive in. Capricorn. Ooh. Jumpy, jumpy cards. Very chatty. Thank you so much for being here. When you like and comment and share and subscribe, it really helps me to help you. And that's why I call it an energy exchange. Oh, lovely. There you go. Child, why are you starting new? What new are you starting? Is this the beginning of some sort of dream, starting new job, new studies, new life, even if changing an image even? Like as if like you have reached the point of the old me, don't, I don't like it anymore. The old me doesn't suit my future. But though it could be so that some of you are uh, exploring that the dream that you had a as a child, perhaps you wanted to be always a doctor or uh, artist or whatever it is, and kind of that dream has never left you. And maybe you're picking this up as a as a hobby. Well, it could be as well that maybe you are uh, planning a um, family or adopting even or taking on a person as a um, um like apprentice you know sometimes you take it under your wing you know could be at work or something like that that's very significant but why would it come in your life why would it come in your reading as a main male yeah absolutely i feel like some of you are either taking a person as a are you becoming as a mentor or maybe someone's taking you as a apprentice or someone's taking you underneath the wing right their wing so it's kind of like you've been really cared for Underneath we have imprisonment. Official, official person. It could be as well. That maybe you find okay. I'm seeing. I'm hearing different kind of stories. So I'm gonna go with one. Okay, what spirit's telling me? Some of you had some sort of um, underneath you had um, imprisonment. Maybe you had some money money issues, or uh, you were not able either to express yourself or move forward. Okay, and finally there's either person or situation has unraveled, and with the official person it really involves. Some sort of laws or regulations. Someone has influence. Someone has influence over particular events in your life. Okay. They are able to either open a lot of doors or shut in front of you. But I feel like very optimistic and positive here. Right. So it could be someone, um, as I said, someone's taking maybe you under the wing and kind of trying to support you. Um, they really see the potential in you. So again, if you are planning to adopt or um, have something to do with the children or some sort of law, um, custody or whatever situation, this seems very positive here. Okay, that is very positive omen here. Let's dive into the situations. Capricorn. Okay, Ascension. You say it's definitely. Um, it's positive. It's very, Ascension is really, from now on, things are going upwards. Bounty hunter. Oh yeah, definitely feels like someone is. Mm, either there's a bit of a not the conflict, but there's a bit of a. I'm seeing seven of wands. You need to stand up. Seven of five of wands as well, where there's some sort of disagreement, and you have to stand your ground. Maybe some of you have um, hired a lawyer or pressure cooker. Yeah, pressure is really cooking here. Focused. Someone's watching and looking to make you a mistake or something. There's a lot of things are on, 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 on the line at the moment. Oh, this is so, so interesting. Okay. And what you're getting out of it is love or... Okay, thank you. Spirit is just pointed. No, no, no. Nothing to do with love. It's a love-based Follow your love-based emotions and they will love-based um, actions. 
decision making. Don't make decisions on fear based, okay? Don't make decisions uh, either of revenge or to prove something. This is some sort of action or some sort of lesson that you need to complete to move forward. And it doesn't have come easy. Seems like there's a lot of eyes on you. There's a lot of uh, pretentious people around you. Okay. And you are really standing your ground. And maybe it's your time as well to be you who really standing your ground and be truly you who you are. Okay. If there's a lot of clearing happening. I do feel like it's just, this down card really reminds me of the world card. As if you are completely in something, some sort of chapter. You're wrapping things up, okay? Tightening up the loose ends and bringing the rubbish out, okay? And putting it in. And then you have clean house, clean life, clean slate. And you're starting new. You know the fool, when he travels to see the fool card in tarot, he has a tiny, tiny little sachet. It really shows that he's traveling light. So you leave it as if like you are trying to kind of sum up something, complete something. What well, is it? Yeah, legal. Justice, Libra. Hello there. Uh, justifications. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So where the Wheel of Fortune is leaving? Ace of Cups, love and clearing and, and overwhelmment. Very, I feel like that some of you are going to be having a very positive outcomes especially look when i'm looking at wheel of fortune i always look where the wheel is turning because it will go up and down it could be any anyhow it could be positive negative it doesn't it never stays the same it's impossible right but this outcome that legal situation that you're having or some sort of ruling or someone's making decision about someone perhaps even you it's bringing much more love it brings that kind of release you can actually release or express that um love as well i do see a ship maybe some of you are waiting for a partner overseas or meeting a person overseas maybe you have never met this person before possibly as well i know it's completely out of blue but i'm just telling things that jerry tells me right what are your strengths right now risk reward oh you are definitely right on edge of this is it all in all in there is no half measures half cup half can't speak today glass half full this is literally all in or nothing and your bravery in ways even i do feel that some of you had to stand your ground had to really experience unpleasant situations people conversations your bravery and i would have to say bravery um, really is going to pay off and that is your strength real people are uh, admiring that so what is missing in your life alive heard <laughs> curious so is this talking about you being heard and you have not been able to explore certain things maybe something was on hold for a while and now being feeling alive even you felt, might have felt that might have felt that you are kind of stuck in a place and, and maybe you finally need to wrap this up so you can actually move on and start to live again. It could have been some events like that relationship or situation that turns sour for whatever reason. There's a lot of uh, pressure there. Absolutely. What angels would like to tell you? Schooling and study, education, help your life's purpose on personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. You're learning about not just about life. I think the biggest lesson is you learn so much about yourself and others. The others will always surprise you. Underneath you have Daniel. Interesting. And Carissa, which is like you're at the end of the cycle, right? Daniel's about the families and it's about the marriage. So there could be as well, as I said, there could be maybe you're you may marrying your childhood sweetheart, right? And it hasn't been as smooth sailing, perhaps. But it kind of feels as well that it could be that you have addition to your family. And marriage is a commitment. A commitment to have a child, new beginnings, new business in your life, right? Okay, let's have a look. What is your advice or one for the road, as I call it? 
Run for the Road, Capricorn. Page of Wands. Once this is over, you are very eager and you're curious. Where we had the card curious? You're very curious. What behind that red door? Okay. What behind that red door? You can just imagine. It's like a like um Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Beautiful little um little house, mysterious house in a forest. And that was kind of like very dreamy, very inspirational, very curious. Like a little kid would be curious about it. What else you need to know about? I feel like from once this is over, you can start dreaming again. You can start breathing again. Judgment. Oh, let it go. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to set you free. Whatever it is, it, whatever is happening, is happening for the highest good. This is calling. This is releasing you from all the trash. We had the trash underneath, right? All the trash that you had. All the unnecessary things, people, places, faces in your life. Let it go. Let it go. Wow. And that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. If you think someone else might benefit from this reading, please share this with them. And when you like, comment and share and subscribe. It really helps me to help you. I just thought to say that. I shall see you in the next reading. But for now, love and light.